My friend, two friends of mine were joining, had joined and asked me if I'd like to come and volunteer. And I came down and uh, found it great fun. We think we've been going for about eight years. I've been here coming about seven years. Well, we cut the lawns when uh, usually come here every fortnight, so we cut the lawns. We trim shrubs, trim the hedge, we do weeding, um, plant bulbs, uh, anything else that you know needs doing, things like that. Well, I love gardening, um, and same for my friends come down here. Uh, I just very much enjoy gardening, seeing things grow, making up a new garden. It's coming somewhere away from your own gardening, be able to create something else. It's, it's just the joy of seeing things grow up that you've planted uh, and created. You think, you know, to see if you can create a garden. It's become a proper garden for people to come here and walk around and enjoy. So it's really, we're very pleased the way it's been going. It's been in the countryside. When I'm out doing the work, you know, I just think that it's a privilege to actually do what I do. My job involves going out doing patrols on uh, deer poaching, um, badger baiting, taking birds from the wild, anything to do with wildlife. I think the inspiration came from my father who was a great wildlife lover um, and over the years um, I've seen species disappear uh, and become almost e extinct and I think it's really important that we do more for you know the youngsters and, and the future generations. My average day would be sometimes 16 hours a day. We start out early in the morning and we are there at night time. Um, up until one, two o'clock in the morning, it all accords what's going on. I've never ever wanted money for the job that I do. I, I want to do it because I'm helping wildlife. Um, and I'm, I'm quite happy to get out there, do the job, and the satisfaction is going home thinking I've done a good job today. It's very varied. I've been volunteering for five years and the, the type of things that we get involved with are um, either footpaths um, and building benches and maintaining the park, so the physical side of things, fences and you know, maintaining the, the sort of the look and feel of the park, but also you, you learn other skills in dealing with the public. Uh, we have a visitor centre and it's interpretation side of helping people understand what the countryside and the, the sort of the, the bordering countryside of a, in Newcastle and Stoke-on-Trent is like to try and maintain and encourage people to use a, a wonderful local facility which is a yeah, restored sort of area which was once uh, desolate and industrial into a, a great country park which has got you know, multiple uses. So they can come and use the cycle trails here, walk, uh, we've had orienteering, we've got an orienteering course, uh, we have events, um, school kids, uh, adults, um, really a, a multitude of things that we can actually offer. So I love the fact it's outdoors, physical, learn some new skills and um, it's great fun with the people that I work with. You, posit, you, you get an end result, there's an end product, you can see something you've done, whether it be pond clearing as we were saying or you know, restoring a path or restoring a path because it's been overgrown. There's something, you know, something really tangible there and I think that's nice in today's society. <laughs>